Hi everybody, it's Bas here from Carpet Specialist and many thanks for watching the 12th episode of the Carpicast UK version. It's the 2nd of February now when you're watching the video, but I've uh, shot it a couple of days before because at the 2nd of February we're on our way to France. We're making a video at Estate Lake, famous lake for big fish. It's very well known for the UK anglers and we're uh, doing a netting there. So it will be great to make, it a, make a video for that uh, for you. So it will be ready in a couple of weeks and we hope to see the big fish there. There's two fish over 30 kilos in the lake and we are very much looking forward and crossing our fingers that we will see them with the next netting. So stay tuned for our, on our YouTube channel to see the netting video of Estate Lake. We are going now to the Koperplas in the Netherlands. Albert Baas, one of our Dutch anglers, he fished the lake last weekend and he caught four fish. A 6 kilo, a 14 and a half kilo, a 16 kilo and an 18 kilo. And for a winter trip that's perfect result all right. Of course an 18 kilo is English 40. So that's a well, an excellent result for winter time. If you fancy, he's a Dutch guy but he makes stunning photos and he's really interesting to follow. So at Instagram you can follow him at, at Albert Baas. Really nice guy and excellent footage. That's it for the Cobra Plus and we're going to uh, shoot uh, a netting of Estate Lake and our French cameraman Mathieu, he visited already um, the venue Windmill Lake. It's uh, owned by a Dutch couple, Anton and Diane. They built three lovely houses around the lake and they've created a great carp stock. Really impressive. There's 109 carp swimming in the lake. And with the netting, the fish will wait. There's two fish over 25 kilos, so that's roughly 50, 50, 55, sorry, 55 English pounds. There's over 20 fish over 20 kilos, so there's 20 fish over 44 English pounds. And there is about 50 fish over 15 kilo, which is 33 English pounds. So a great carp stuck to catch there. And uh, really impressive growth ratio over the last years. What's also nice at Windmill Lake is that Anton, he rented a professional digger. Uh, swim number two was always one of the most shallow swims on the lake. And as the lake was empty, they used a digger for a couple of days to uh, create uh, three very big holes. Those holes are about one meter deeper than the surrounding water. So swim two now also has next to the shallow area two or three big balls to fish, uh, fish in. And I think normally that will become the new hotspots of Windmill Lake. So that's very interesting. Um, the video of the uh, netting of Windmill Lake will be ready in the next few weeks. At Carp Farm Lake we had uh, Joris and Mats in fishing in the lake for a week this winter. They caught uh, in a week plenty of fish, of which 18 kilo common was the biggest fish. So that's a nice 40. And what's very nice, we did a carp stocking there last autumn together with Carl and Alex. We um, stocked at 12.75 kilos, so it's 12 kilos and 750 grams and the guys caught it back at 14.2 kilos. Uh, so the fish we stocked are growing very well uh, which makes it really interesting lake to fish for next year. There's uh, a lot of big fish so if you fancy big carp fishing and you want to catch a monster carp in the Netherlands it's well worth coming over. Another lake that was netted uh, Next to Estate Lake and Windmill Lake is the famous Lac de Villedon. At 2021 wasn't an easy year at Villedon. The catches were quite slow. We had a little uh, uh, fish death in the spring. About 60 carp were found dead, unfortunately, to uh, uh, a virus in the spring. And uh, uh, we were not totally sure about the total stock there. So with this netting, all the gossip can be over. 800 carp were released back into the lake, including some real monsters. The fish have been piling on weight, so they're looking excellent. Our French cameraman Mathieu is now finishing the video of, uh, of his visit. And he can really confirm there's 800 carp that went back to the lake. So, big fish anglers, this is a big fish alert. 
If you want to come big car fishing in the Netherlands, oh sorry, in France, then Villedon is still the, one of the best places to go to. A nice place to go to as well is Livergere, close to Le Mans, so very close to the ferry terminal of Calais. Uh, Bianca and Lisette, they uh, fished the lake for a week and they brought a group uh, of friends with them. They made a really nice week with a uh, great social, uh, some shared dinners, a lot of chit chat of course. But they didn't forget the fishing and they caught some absolute monsters. The video is Dutch spoken, but I'm sure you will appreciate it as well if you're not Dutch. Because there's some stunning footage to be watched. So enjoy watching that one. I finished the video with uh, a nice tip and trick. The Dutch, uh, we're always used to bringing our bait boat and to uh, bringing a rowing boat with a depth sounder. But this little tool is excellent to use. It's called the Deeper. Maybe you heard it, of it already. You just attach it to your rod, install the app on your phone, and you have a castable depth sounder. It works excellent. and. Uh, Especially on the carp lakes like ours, the pay lakes, uh, depth differences can really make a difference between catching or blanking. So uh, we're doing a giveaway action with it, but that will follow later in the next few weeks. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you won't miss the nice action. Speak soon, thank you very much for watching and until the next Carpicast episode, bye!